What's up, buddy? They're, they're still bombing. They're still bombing. All right, get inside. I'm getting come on. You did not read the title of this video wrong. We were bombed by the US when I was in Iraq and Syria. And I wanna talk about this. It's not a secret. Everybody knows that the military industrial complex of the US and many other countries, pretty much every country on the planet is very corrupt. They will do anything to make a dime. When you look at uh, Ukraine right now, you see a lot of American companies selling microchips to Russia through Azerbaijan or through some bordering country and then get smuggled in. And uh, there's a lot of dirty ways to make money. And I've got the proof right here. A lot of pictures, a lot of videos, and I've got a lot of stories, and I did my research as well. And I think it's really important on my channel to go and talk about tough topics like this. Um, so, we're gonna get started with the first bomb part that I found. So obviously in Iraq, we were living in tunnels. We were part of a militia called the YBS, and the country of Turkey, which is in NATO, does not like us. So they use American-made F-16s to drop American-made bombs. And these bombs are privately manufactured and sold to the highest bidder. So as soon as they got up to my base, there's just a bunch of aluminum and pieces of shrapnel everywhere. So I would just pick them up, we would all gather them up and try and figure out what we could find. And this is just a small pile of it, uh, some of them that I took pictures of. And these bomb parts that I found have serial numbers, part numbers, model numbers, pretty much everything. Even the company name Woodward, which we're gonna get into. I think parts of these were duds because there's even C4 that was <laughs> just laying around for two years inside this bomb. and. Um, just never went off. Anyway, we're gonna start with this one, which was uh, one of the bigger pieces that we found. And we found a couple of these. We shoot them for uh, target practice because they make a nice little ping noise. Uh, they're made out of aluminum. Uh, it's very easy to figure out if it's aluminum or steel just by the weight of it. Uh, you can pick it up with one hand pretty easy, uh, but they're very sharp. And when I looked at this one, it said BD-13-1. And when I looked it up, you could see on airbasegroup.com, it's from Textron, uh, which is a very famous uh, military industrial complex sort of company out of Kansas, USA. And the part type is airframe. So this is part of the airframe. It's the shell of the bomb. And you can kind of visualize it just by seeing how big this part is. And yeah, you can buy it for $226. Uh, or you can get it for free if you come to Iraq. The next one up that we have, uh, I was able to find very easily because the serial number and everything on it. Uh, when I looked at the part number on apollosatellite.com, I found out that you could buy this part for $1,250. It is a GPS antenna. And this thing is pretty dope from the inside. I never knew what it looked like uh, when it wasn't exploded, but yeah, here it is. I, again, I think it was a dud, uh, this, these bomb parts, which is kind of hilarious. So a lot of profit for uh, the military industrial complex in the US, but you know, not a lot of profit, not a lot of a bang for their buck for Turkey, which I'm kind of okay with, you know, in a weird way. Uh, so yeah, it's a GPS antenna. And the next one I was able to find was from buyaviationparts.com, which is an ASAP semiconductor website. So again, semiconductors are all over the news right now with Taiwan, and I don't know if they're getting the semiconductors from Taiwan and then selling it to the US, and then they make bombs out of that and then sell it to Turkey, and then they bomb the Kurds. You hear it all over the news, like how important semiconductors are. That's why China wants to take Taiwan, because it's important for military aircraft and important for missiles and all these sorts of things. And I would guess that it's probably manufactured in Taiwan, but who knows? Anyway, this company is from Santa Clarita, California. And this part is from Woodward, which is a very, very famous company in the US. Uh, they've got 50 years of heritage in the aerospace industry. But luckily, when I looked into it further, uh, Woodward is very good for the environment. They, they really care about sustainability. But I would make the argument that it's not very environmentally conducive to have unexploded ordnance everywhere next to Kurds and people defending their own country but at least the environment's gonna be saved good job and I was able to find a couple other part numbers and a couple other serial numbers able to find uh, what kind of parts they were or roughly what they were and it's all just bomb parts and the whole reason I want to go and talk about this today is because the UN is deeply concerned okay and I hope they're concerned because a couple months into being in Iraq they bombed the hospital Turkey used Woodward bombs, good Woodward, environmentally friendly company. They used their bombs to go and bomb a hospital. Um, so the way that this went down, it was August 17th, 2021. I was sitting in a cave, uh, just minding my own business. And then uh, Turkey decided they want to go and kill a commander of the Yazidis. This extremely persecuted, displaced people that live in Shengal, the mountain range that I was in. And they found this commander that they decided uh, they didn't like, and they decided to go and bomb him. He was injured, so they drove him to a hospital, and next thing Turkey does, level the hospital. All the nurses that treated me at the beginning of August were vaporized instantly, and the commander was killed. Obviously, kind of sketchy, a little like uh, Geneva Conventions, any convention on, uh, against like targeting a hospital for one commander that you failed to kill with your Woodward bomb, and uh, they just uh, decided to level a place with an F-16. What's up, buddy? They're, they're still bombing. They're still bombing. All right, get inside. I'm getting, come on. 
Inside, inside. Yeah, I heard that. And if that wasn't sketchy enough, 20 minutes later, they decided to double tap it. Just kill all the security personnel that are trying to go and, uh, you know, save anybody that's in there, like the nurses, uh, the woman nurses, and, you know, all the people that were uh, just working on the patient like, uh, like a good nurse would. Now, this was put in front of the UN about two months ago. There's an article about it. And, uh, you know, I'm afraid that the UN is not going to be deeply concerned. Uh, so, and I thought I should put this video out because I'm in a ranty mood and I want to go and <laughs> want to share the story. Uh, especially as this is being put in uh, in front of the UN because uh, unfortunately Turkey's part of NATO and it's probably not going to go anywhere. You know how the UN is. It's a bunch of trash. They don't get anything done. They're But they're deeply concerned and they're going to figure it out and everything's going to be good. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> look. Rant done. I am uh, back on YouTube. I appreciate you guys uh, with all your patience. Appreciate all the members. Uh, you guys help my friends out. You guys help Ukraine out a lot, which I care a lot about. You know, I'm deeply concerned. Unlike the UN, I actually put my life in danger um you know i really care about these people and i care about the rockies and syrians as well and uh, there's a lot of news about them right now and i thought i should just put out some evidence that you guys might find interesting anyway i'll talk to you guys in the next one thanks for listening peace